Forecasters expect consumer prices to have climbed 3.4% in April from a year earlier, a slight moderation after some hot inflation readings this year. This year began with three uncomfortably hot inflation readings in a row. Economists are hoping that fresh data on Wednesday will finally bring signs of a cool down. Forecasters expect the Labor Department report to show that the consumer price index climbed 3.4% in April from a year earlier. That would mark a slight slowing from the 3.5% inflation rate in March. Economists tend to focus on a separate measure of inflation that strips out volatile food and fuel prices to give a better sense of the underlying trend. They expect that core measure to show prices rose 3.6% from a year earlier, which would be the lowest annual reading since early 2021. Wednesday's data carries crucial implications for policymakers at the Federal Reserve, who are weighing when, and even whether, to cut interest rates. Inflation fell rapidly last year, giving rise to hopes that the Fed was on the verge of succeeding in its effort to rein in price increases without causing a recession, and that the central bank could soon begin cutting interest rates. But progress has since stalled, and investors have all but given up hope of rate cuts before September. An encouraging inflation report on Wednesday is unlikely to change that, but it could be a step toward giving policymakers confidence that inflation is returning to normal, which they have said they need before they begin cutting rates, which are currently set at about 5.3%. It feels like a big one, Sarah House, senior economist at Wells Fargo, said of the report. It's crunch time if the Fed's going to get in a cut this year. But if April price data comes in hotter than anticipated, as has happened repeatedly in recent months, policymakers could conclude that high rates need more time to bring inflation to heel. Speaking at an event in Amsterdam on Tuesday, Jerome H. Powell, the Fed chair, reiterated that recent inflation readings had made him more cautious about cutting rates. We did not expect this to be a smooth road, but these were higher than I think anybody expected, he said. What that has told us is that we will need to be patient and let restrictive policy do its work. Any further delay would be bad news for investors, who have been eagerly anticipating lower rates, and for low, and moderate-income Americans, who are increasingly struggling to manage the burden of higher borrowing costs. Data from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York on Tuesday showed that a rising share of borrowers are falling behind on their credit card bills as rates on those debts have skyrocketed. Economists see reasons for optimism. The unexpected pickup in inflation in March was driven in part by big price increases in a few specific categories, including car insurance and medical care. Those gains are unlikely to persist at that rate for more than a few months, and inflation in recent years has tended to taper off as the year has progressed. But prices in one part of the economy have proved particularly stubborn lately, housing. For more than a year, forecasters have been predicting that the government's measure of housing inflation would ease, citing private sector data showing rent increases slowing. Instead, housing costs in the consumer price index have continued to rise rapidly particularly for homeowners. And now some private sector measures have begun to show a pickup as well. The narrative on rents was that they were going to continue to soften as 2024 played out, said Rick Palacios Jr., director of research for John Burns Research and Consulting, a real estate data firm. We don't see that. If anything, we see it picking up. Housing is by far the largest monthly expense for most families, which means it also plays an outsized role in inflation calculations. If rents keep rising at their current rate, it will be hard for inflation overall to return to normal. So far, the Fed has managed to wage its war on inflation without causing much damage to the labor market, defying predictions that high interest rates would inevitably cause a large increase in unemployment. But as the fight drags on, some economists are once again becoming concerned that the Fed will prove unable to control inflation fully without slowing the economy so much that people lose their jobs. Job growth slowed more than expected in April, and the unemployment rate has gradually crept up. The labor market has held up so well, Ms. House said. But the longer we keep interest rates where they are, the more I get worried about the labor market side. There's a three-letter abbreviation that economists have started pronouncing with the energy of a four-letter word. OER it stands for Owner's Equivalent Rent, and it has been used to measure American housing inflation since the 1980s. As its name suggests, it uses a combination of surveys and market data to estimate how much it would cost homeowners to rent the house they live in. But three years into America's price pop, it has become almost cliché for economists to hate on the housing measure. 
Detractors blast it for being so slow moving that it does not reflect up-to-date conditions in the economy. Critics argue that it uses convoluted statistical methods that make little sense. The most intense haters insist that it is giving a false impression about where inflation stands. It's just not adding anything to our understanding of inflation, said Mark Zandi, chief economist of Moody's Analytics and a frequent advisor to the Biden administration. What has this one nerdy inflation component done to earn so much vitriol? It is preventing an economic happy ending, more or less. Housing inflation measures have been surprisingly sticky over the past year and they are now a major barrier keeping price increases overall from returning to normal. That has knock-on effects. Because of inflation staying power, the Federal Reserve is keeping interest rates at a more than two-decade high to try to wrestle prices under control by slowing the economy. But while there's no denying that OER has become a main character in America's inflationary tale, not everyone thinks it is the bad guy. Some economists think it is a valid and reasonable way to measure an important part of the consumer experience. Ahead of a fresh consumer price index report set for release on Wednesday morning, there are a few key facts to understand about how housing inflation is calculated, what it means, and what it might do next. Economists had expected two measures of rental inflation to fade in 2023 and 2024, but that process is taking time to play out.